What is going on guys? Today uh, we're going to be figuring out our radiator hoses. So I've ran into an issue. The lower hose, that guy, it fits. I had to cut some off, but it does fit. However, the top hose is too short. Like there's no way it fits from there to there. I tried heating up this section where it curves to try to bend it over and that did not work. So, unfortunately, that's where we're at. I'm gonna see if I could find maybe, uh, I think this is like inch and a half. I'll have to measure, but I think it's inch and a half. If I could find some inch and a half, just like straight um, hose, but the lower one does fit. So that's great. And it's not kinked or anything. There is an area where it's kind of like a little bit thinner right around here where my finger is right there it's just a hair thinner it's not totally round but it's not like kinked or anything like it coolant can still go through it with no issues so that's good to have i'm glad that that worked but let me show you how much i had to cut off to get it to work i had to cut this much off the bottom hose for it to work if i didn't cut this much off it had a pretty gnarly kink in it and coolant would not be able to flow through it. I only had to cut that much off because of how I did my radiator, how it sits in the stock position, but it leans forward a lot. So that's why the top hose is too far away. And I did that because I have these fans. And if you can see down there, there's the crank pulley down there. And I, I mean, I have room, but it's pretty close. Uh, not close enough for me to be worried. And if it does become an issue, I can take the shroud off and then just have the fans on the radiator and that'll push them in about another, uh, what, like maybe half inch, three quarters of an inch. And that'll give us plenty of room. But yeah, so I'll have to do some research, see if I can get something for this uh, top radiator hose. And uh, then we'll have to go from there. All right, guys, so I just ordered this and I'll be able to put a temperature sensor in there so that's pretty sweet and I think that'll solve my issue with this hose being too short and look what just showed up unfortunately it came with these clamps not a huge fan of these types of clamps because they get stripped pretty easily so I'd like to get like this style clamps that I've got on my intercooler piping I'd like to do that but for now this will be fine so let's uh, get her on. Here we go guys, let's uh, do a test fit. So, I mean, it works. <laughs> Doesn't look the greatest. I'm gonna clean the cuts up just so they're more straight lines so it looks a little better, but it does work. It's not kinked or anything throughout the whole way. Everything looks good. So that's awesome. And then I got a little port right down here for a aftermarket water temp sensor. So I will be using that for sure because I don't even know if the OEM one even works. I'd assume so, this motor only has 60K miles. And guys, I've cleaned it up a little bit. It looks a little bit better, so that's, that's awesome. It doesn't look half bad. It's uh, kind of unnecessary having that little bump there, but you know, we're good. We'll be fine. Thankfully the lower hose is good as well. So yeah, we're, we're done. Uh, just about, I mean, you know, we still gotta get that sensor to go on the bottom. If not, we have a coolant leak and that's not good. Um, I could just plug it if I really wanted to, but I think I am gonna be running a sensor. Yeah. 
I could just plug it if I wanted to, but I think I am going to be running a sensor. So I'll have to get that. But other than that, I mean, clamps, that's about it. And then that's done. The next step we're gonna take is getting the lines for that guy. That's where our oil filter's gonna go on the passenger footwell. A little catch can chill in there. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out up there. 100% guarantee that's the weirdest place to put one. But hey, like, like it's gonna work. We'll be good, guys. We'll be good. Don't worry. But we'll get that, then we'll get the fuel lines, and then um, the catch can lines uh, as well. And then uh, we gotta do some stuff with the intercooler piping. And then uh, we'll get the ECU and then we could start her up. Alright guys, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get the hoses and or that little piece, the uh, Mishimoto adapter coupler thing to add a sensor. Or if the hoses aren't long enough, like in my situation, uh, I'll have that in the description, both of those. And along with other parts that are on the RV, in case you want them. And then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.